And I'm WSB Channel 2 Sports Director Zach Klein, and you are watching WLLN's Sport News. broadcast analyst at the local WSB TV. DJ, how do you do it? It's fun, man. I enjoy it. It's uh, something I've been doing for a while now. I was a major when I graduated from college, so I uh, kind of got into this field. I love it, and uh, I've been doing it for a long time. Now, speaking of all your uh, history and the four years at Georgia and the nearly five years at Atlanta, you had to have some good advice to build up. Uh, what advice would you give football players now at the high school level, not only at the varsity, but the JV in the ninth grade? Uh, I think it all starts with the academics. you got to get your academics first. It means everything. Uh, a, a guy who, who's been through it and understands what it takes to get to the next level, uh, your, your academics, your education means the most. And if anything, get your education now. And uh, sports are tough, man. There's a lot of different stats out there where guys don't make it to the next level. So get your academics first. And then it's just putting everything into it you got, man. Don't, don't, don't second guess yourself. Always believe in yourself and go for it. Now, in your point of view during your high school and maybe even collegiate career, what do you? What would you say is the most important thing that you could have done? You mentioned academics. Is there anything else that you would think is important? You know, I, I just think uh, having support, being in, being around great people. Uh, I think it's all about the people you're around means a lot too. Um, you heard those saying, you know, the people you're around represent you as well, and I think that's a big part of it. Is you got to represent yourself in a lot of different ways and. If you're in a position where people look at you in a different way, then that's not going to be good. So always represent yourself in the best way and always uh, keep good company. Do you have a saying or motto that you live by in uh, your life? Uh, I think my, my biggest thing is patience and the virtue. Uh, especially with my time in, in college, I had to go through a lot of different obstacles. When I got to the NFL, I had to go through a lot of different things. So uh, I had to be patient. And uh, sometimes I always knew that, uh, Maybe it didn't happen when I wanted it to happen, but it was going to happen. And you got to be patient in anything you wanted for the most. Now, what would you say is your biggest break? Now, whether that be in high school or uh, collegiate ball or NFL, or what was your biggest break? Oh, man. Uh, there are a lot of big things. Uh, I guess uh, getting my, my college degree was big for me. Graduating over a 3.2 GPA was big as a student athlete. Yes. Uh, that was a big thing for me. Then also winning the SEC Championship in Georgia was big, especially the year when everybody thought we weren't going to be good and weren't going to win it. So uh, that meant a lot to me. And then also being drafted in the, the home state that I'm from is also a big thing. Now, when you found out you were accepted to Georgia and were drafted into the Falcons uh, a few years later, what was that feeling like? What, what did you feel? What were your emotions? It's, it's pretty special, man. I, I tell you, for um, a guy who worked so hard to be at the top, uh, to make it is it, almost just so satisfying and, uh, to get the, my degree and then also to have uh, the chance to play for a place like the University of Georgia and represent them and then get drafted by the Falcons. It's just a dream come true and um, I always relish those experiences. Now, uh, you love football, so do you miss, you know, looking here and coming at the game of the week? Yeah. You know, do you miss strapping it up, strapping up the helmet, strapping up the shoulder pads? No doubt about it, man. This is uh, this is an awesome feeling to be able to strap it up and go, have a good time, uh, play with guys that you, you know, work so hard with in the summer and you sweat and all that. Yeah. But it's always good to come back here. I don't get to get to go to a lot of high school games, so it's good to come back and to be involved in this and see the excitement around it and uh, see what you guys are doing. You guys got a great thing going on here, so it's awesome. Do you think that's the reason, one of the reasons you chose sports communication as your major in college? You know what, half of it was I wanted to be able to speak in every kind of uh, video I was in. I do a lot of public speaking. I do a lot of speaking to a lot of different kids, and I want to be able to speak to them in a way that everybody can understand it. And then broadcasting just kind of came from it's a thing where uh, somebody saw something good in me and said, hey, this guy needs to be on TV somewhere, so it worked out pretty good. What do you predict tomorrow's game will be? Auburn versus Georgia. You're Georgia alumni, alumni and uh, what do you think it's going to be? I don't even know why you can ask me a question like that. That's just crazy. <laughs> I mean, you know what my answer is going to be. Yeah, I'm repping Georgia right here. Go dogs. That's good stuff right there. Not to be biased, right? <laughs> but, but, uh, 
Uh, you know, it's it, it's been an up and down year for my dogs. Uh, obviously, I always root for him. I was coach Rich first recruit to Georgia, so I'm always excited uh, for him. And, and you know, I wish the best for him. And I think my dogs got a good chance of coming out with a win. Well, thank you very much for the city. Thank you very much for coming out. I got DJ Shockley right here. Thank you very much for coming.